that we will be able to... Over the past years, all five economies of the East African community instituted regulatory reforms. This has seen its five governments implement a total of 10 regulatory reforms last year to improve on the business environment for locals as a way of encouraging entrepreneurship in the region, since the cost of starting a business in the region is quite high. So today, starting a business in the EAC on average, and we take a simple average here, uh, takes 23 days and costs 55% of income per capita. That is quite high because if you look at uh, the relevant scores in different parts of the world, you will find that places like East Asia and the Pacific, it probably just costs about 22% of income per capita, and in the OECD, as little as 4% uh, of income per capita. Presenting the report to the East African Community Minister, Alfred Ombudo, the coordinator of the East African Community Investment Climate Program at the World Bank, said the report that was presented in Bujumbura a few weeks ago indicates that Sub-Saharan Africa recorded many countries implementing more than one reform. Although Kenya has been ranked as a top performer in the East African region, it has put strict regulations when it comes to doing business in the country, though some areas have been pointed out for improvements. Kenya is somewhere in the median, whereby there are 11 uh, regulation-facing uh, uh, procedures before you are basically allowed to operate your business. We also see that the cost as a percentage of income per capita is fairly high at 37.8%. Uh, uh, so this is fairly high and I think Kenya needs to work on reducing both the procedures and the cost for people to be able to start uh, a, a, a business. We have been uh, in the process of doing as a country but because of the constitutional review we have not been able to do those amendments because the constitution has timelines and it has taken the whole time of parliament and the whole time of the, of the Attorney General's office to even look at these other items. Though the East African Community region is regarded more competitive in doing business than most of its related regional blocks, globally it is ranked in position 115. And when we took the region's best practice for each indicator, then we find that East Africa, if it were one country, and having the best indicators from each of the countries would rank 19th globally rather than the current average of 115th uh, out of 183 economies globally. And this would bring it at par with uh, Germany, which is also ranking at number 19 globally. Our biggest problem is doing a good report and becomes a good candidate to the shelf. We want this report to be on the desk and to be a, a, a working book to all those who are concerned. For integration to happen, we need constant reference to it. Although ESC member states are at different stages of regulatory reforms, the possibility of getting closer to the best performers in the areas covered by doing business is not lost among the community partner states. According to the report, the five ESC economies could benefit from sharing good practices in business regulation and linking reform initiatives on a regional basis. Violet Makendo, GBS News.